In the gospel text of today, Herod, who was mentioned earlier, is reintroduced into the story because he sees Jesus, encounters him, and imagines that Jesus is John the Baptist. This gives Matthew the opportunity to tell us the story of the death of John the Baptist, whom Herod had killed. John had objected to the fact that Herod had married his brother Philip's wife. While it was okay for a man to marry his brother's wife after his brother had died or to marry his brother's widow, Herod took the wife of Philip, his brother, when Philip was still alive. And John objected to this liaison. John objected to this relationship. John objected to this marriage. And the reason why John objected was because John was a righteous man. Because John was a man who came to show people the way. Because John was a man who came to prepare the way of Jesus. And anything which seemed illegal, anything which seemed wrong, John would point it out. He would dare to point it out no matter who the person was, no matter how high the person was in rank. John pointed out everyone and brought them back to the Lord. In this case, Herod refused to accept John's exhortation. Herod refused to accept John telling him that he should not do something like this, and especially when it concerns another human person. How would Philip have felt when his wife left him and went with Herod? How would Philip have felt when he was deserted and alone? And this is what John is pointing out to and also saying that Herod has done something that is not right in the eyes of God. Herod took the opportunity on his birthday when the daughter of Philip's wife, now his wife, danced and he promised to give her whatever she wanted, including half his kingdom because he was drunk at that time. The girl went to her mother. And her mother, who was now Herod's wife after leaving Philip, was upset with John because John had objected to her second marriage when her first husband was alive. And she prompted her daughter to ask Herod for the head of John the Baptist on a platter. The girl went and told Herod. And even though Herod was reluctant at first, because of the promise that he had made in front of so many guests, he gave in and John was beheaded. It is not easy to stand up for the truth. It is not easy to stand up alone. It is not easy to raise objections when we see something wrong and especially when we are aware of it. We say to ourselves, it is not my problem. Why should I bother? Why should I get into trouble? Why should I report this? The challenge is to be like John. The challenge is to say, I will do what I have to do. I will do what I believe to be right. And I will leave the consequences to those who have to take action. I will point out the situation. I will speak about it, I will write about it, I will make it known and then after I have done that, I will let those who have to take action act as they ought to. In other words, I will be fearless in my speech. I will be fearless in my action because I know in my heart that God is on my side. Even though John was beheaded, even though John had to suffer and sacrifice his life, he knew that he was on God's side and that God was on his side. Will you dare to have the courage to stand up for the truth today? Will you dare to speak out against falsehood and stand for truth?